I had this idea for an audio project in my head for quite some time. A cube with a single full range stereo speaker. Not your simple Bluetooth speaker, but a standalone audio streaming device just like my revamped vintage radio. The enclosure will be made of 80mm plywood and will be covered with American black old veneer. The speaker is a second hand 6.5 inch ceiling mounted unit that I got for 10 bucks shipped. It looks pretty beat up, but I only need the speaker itself and the electronics, so the looks doesn't bother me at all. The heart and brains will be Hi-Fi Bear M Plus and Raspberry Pi 3 respectively. Both will be placed in a separate ventilated section, while the speaker box will be sealed with some dampening material inside. The box will measure roughly 23 by 23 by 25 centimeters, and the total cost of the build came in at around $125. When making the first cut along the longer edge, my circular saw has died on me. There was actually smoke coming out of the motor. Plan B was to use the jigsaw, but since it can't cut at 45 degrees angle, I couldn't achieve the looks I was going for. I did cut the wood though, only to go to the hardware store the next day to buy a meter saw and start all over again. So I cut 4 pieces at 45 degrees angle all along three edges, so the box comes together nicely. Sort of. As it was my first experience with this kind of machinery, the parts didn't come out perfect, but I still managed to do the box together. I cut a rectangle out of plywood, measured the speaker and marked the cutout template, drilled a pilot hole and cut the opening for the speaker using jigsaw. I glued the speaker support in place and proceeded with cutting two smaller pieces of plywood that would make out the section for the electronics. I attached the plywood inside the box and proceeded with making frame for the Raspberry Pi and the M Plus since I don't want the circuit board to make direct contact with the wooden parts. You've seen me doing this a million times before. Extract some aluminum using hacksaw, file the edges and bend the material. Establish Raspberry Pi mounting points, drill holes and fix threaded inserts. I drilled two more holes to attach the frame to the partitioning wall. I filled cracks with filler and sanded the surface to prepare it for applying veneer. It was my first time, so don't be too harsh. I applied glue both onto the plywood as well as the veneer leaf. Waited 10 minutes, put the two together and applied pressure. Once the glue has settled, I cut the veneer using X-Acto knife. I repeated the drill onto the remaining three walls. Initially, I was going to apply veneer onto the slanted edges on the front, but I liked the looks of the layered plywood pattern, so I left it as it was. After the glue has dried, I sanded the surface and applied first layer of clear coat. I sanded it down, applied another layer and repeated the process once again. Next, I cut a rectangle from 12mm plywood with slanted edges for the front cover, marked a circle and cut the opening using a jigsaw. I measured and cut a piece of fabric and attached it to the frame using staple gun. I cut a set of four posts to attach the front cover to and glued them up front. After the glue has dried, I stained the front to better match the black oak. Then I cut a few pieces of 50mm by 15mm wood and glued it towards the back of the box. This is where the backboard will go. I cut the backboard from plywood, test fitted it and drilled pilot holes for the screws. Next, I screwed in the frame and drilled a hole for speaker wires. I had some steel mesh left from an old project that was perfect to cover the top section with the electronics. I just had to cut off a small piece along the longer edge, 
and make two openings, one for the power supply connector and another one for the LAN port. I used an RJ45 to RJ45 connector glued to one side of the box to make an easily accessible network port. I marked the position of the opening and cut the metal using Dremel. Unfortunately, the metal scrap wasn't big enough to cover the entire area, so for the remaining part I cut a piece of plywood, made a hole in it for power switch and glued it in place. After that, I did a bit of soldering to extend the wires harness going from the speaker to the crossover PCB that would be attached to the back cover. I then proceeded with assembling the electronics compartment. First, I threaded the speaker's wire through the hole and fixed the RPI with the M plus to the frame. Then I had to sort out the power circuitry. A few minutes of cutting and stripping wires and soldering and the top compartment was completed. Then I attached the speaker with four screws. Fixed the crossover PCB to the back cover and connected speaker wires going from the amp. Next, I filled the inside of the box with dampening material and replaced the back cover. I attached a set of rubber feet and fixed the front cover using double-sided tape. The one last thing to do was to give this pretty thing a name. And I decided to name her Sylvia, after my wife, to celebrate our two-year anniversary as a married couple. I then plugged in the power supply, the network cable, flicked the power switch, boot right into Volumia and played some tunes. Sylvia turned out pretty musical. There's not a lot of bass, which was predictable given the random 6.5 inch woofer and quite small non parted enclosure. As far as mids and highs are concerned, there's enough of both. I'm very pleased with how this project turned out. I think I did a pretty decent job, especially given that I'm not an acoustic engineer and my manufacturing process still lacks the precision that I hope to achieve someday. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.